there is our two thief getting into the store this is number one and this is number two with the big pockets so here is the guy in a quick zoom and I'm gonna show you the entire video right there grabbing the battery from my table and there he is Mr. Genius taking it and putting it in his pocket okay so what we got here is another criminal come to steal this guy picking up this battery of my jet and going to steal it while his friend over there distracting me asking me for a question about stupid Traxxas garbage and we tell him that we don't sell any Traxxas and he keep asking for Traxxas and there he is dumbass put it inside of his pocket stole a very big battery and we will catch you you and all the other garbage you think that you can come to our shop and steal we always catching you last guy that we catch his name was Shannon and we took from him in court five thousand dollar and you're gonna be next if you think that you can come to our business and just steal we have your t face we have your friends face you live in the neighborhood we will catch you you have a cross on you you believe in Jesus you believe that you're sent you can you can, you can take it out shove it up your ass obviously you come to steal from hard-working people because a piece of shit this is me, by the way. I'm a big guy. I'm a martial art guy. And I'm coming to get you, stupid dumb asshole. This is the guy, right here. <clears throat> look at the dumb look when you figure out that he's on a camera. Yeah, we are coming for you. They are in the store right now trying to see what they can steal. It would be very easy to recognize those two. Uh, the one with all black, you will see it in a soon in another camera, is overweight but the body fat pouring sideways on him, like if you have a side boob on him. So I'm sure that a lot of people are going to recognize him in a second when I'm going to show his face over there. Him and his little girlfriend over there that come to steal stuff from my store. So here the guy with the white. This is the guy that was stealing. And you see this guy is trying to watch the door right here. And the door is locked. So they're trying to figure out how to distract me so they can put something in their pocket because they cannot grab big stuff and run. And too bad they did not try to pick up something big and run. They will find that lead go through human very, very fast and it's very, very hurt and sometimes will kill you. I jump to this camera. You see? This is his profile in black and white. He's looking into the camera. He's now he's in big trouble now. Meanwhile, his friends is right here, trying to figure out what to do. Those two idiots communicate one to another with face movement and hand, hand gestures the entire time. While they were in the shop, I was suspecting that they're going to steal stuff. And I tried to get like a triangle, get both of them at the same time. Until he asked me to get stuff so he can get opportunity to steal stuff from right here. So hopefully you're watching the video all the way through here. You can see this guy right now going to grab. This is a side view, grabbing the battery and putting it into his pocket. Pay attention. You already saw it from one angle. You're going to see it from another. And now he's looking, he's looking on the table when he's sending me like a different place. He's looking to see what he can steal, what his friend over here on the back, trying to see what there is on the back to steal. But everything is too big, he's trying to, to see. Nothing worked, then it point to me, oh yeah, get me this. It's maybe going to fit my Traxxas, and we told him it's not going to fit your Traxxas. 
Meanwhile, this guy on the back asking me about a different car, trying to get my attention, so I'm going to turn to him. Say, oh, how much is this? Because I don't have money. I came to steal anyway, so but I'm going to ask you anyway to waste your time. Then grab, look at this. He's grabbed the battery. The battery in his hand, the guy, the loser here with the white. While I'm checking, trying to give him customer service. And there goes the battery into his pocket. Look very carefully. Battery is in his pocket. This is in the side view. Meanwhile, his friends right now try to go and open the door, and the door is not opening. But I'm still going to catch you. This is me, and I'm going to catch you. Now, this is my door. When they're coming out, let me show you their faces real quick. They are coming out of my shop. This guy walking with the lamp. Obviously, he's not handicapped enough. When I will be done with him, he will be much more disabled to walk normally. Obviously, his pockets are full of stuff from other places. Okay, there is the other guy, if you can recognize him. This is the other thief in the group. So those two go into stores and see what they can steal. So you can see that they have like kind of a very, uh, I, would, I wouldn't know even how, how to describe his body. You can see that here is kind of like it's warped. His body is warped like if like something hit him sideways. So it would be very easy to find those two criminals. So you can see like it's kind of like his body fat is like pouring sideways in a weird way. And this is the other guy that actually doing the stealing. So they were looking for what to steal. Trying to play if they're like good guys coming to look for Traxxas when I keep telling them that we don't deal with Traxxas. And again, if you wonder why I hate Traxxas, 90% uh, because the way the tra Traxxas behave, the other is because of the people that come to the show for Traxxas is usually like those guys. Trying to steal stuff, trying to, to ask for universal stuff. Usually, total garbage of people. And you're a Traxxas customer and you're a good guy. Well, you don't need to come to our shop anyway. We're not going to cater for you.